Hello all, Neo Doodle here. How are you all? And I'm here bringing you today a video on the new changes that the pre-patch brought to Hunters, specifically Beast Mastery in this case. Just to add some credibility to my case, I'm gonna say that I've been playing Hunter since vanilla, and I've been playing an Orc Hunter since the later half of, of Wrath of Lich King and Night Elf before that. So let's dive right into it with our new spells that we got. We didn't get a lot of changes, but what did change is very significant. So First off, we can start off with Barb Shot. This is basically our new Dire Beast. It is a 10 second recharge with a 40 yard range, and it does a pretty good damage bleed. Now, when you do this bleed, you get 20 focus over eight seconds. So that's like roughly two a second, and it gives you two charges, but with certain spells, you can get it to give you more, or talents rather. And this will also set into your pet into a frenzy, giving it 30% attack speed buff. And this will stack up to three times. So if you can get it to proc a third time, you can give them 90% attack speed. And it only gives it to your main pet. Since I'm using a talent called Animal Companion, it doesn't give it to Chromagus. And let's see if there's any other spells. I believe we didn't get a lot of changes. Just cut this part out. Then we'll move straight into the talents here. So a lot of our talents got changed, and some for the better, and some were just minor tweaks, unfortunately. But for the most part, they're good. So we'll start off in the 15 tier with Killer Instinct. Basically, this gives us an execute. It's almost like Kill Shot, but with Kill Command. So Kill Command will deal 50% increased damage against enemies below 35% health. That's amazing. Bosses are very often below that threshold. In PvP, it's okay, you know, if you need to end someone, usually they should be dead if they're that low. Then, as I mentioned earlier, Animal Companion, you get another pet, my little Chromagus here. You get whatever pet is in your first slot of your stable. Now, this pet will only kill command and auto-attack, and it's very difficult to control. If you get hit, it'll attack back, even if your pet's on passive, even if you pull them back, no matter what. And if you remember earlier in Legion, we had a spell called Dire Beast, and we got two charges of this, and it would give us a lot of focus. Now this is basically just a Dire Beast that gives us 5% haste. This doesn't stack, and there's really no way to reset it. And take 5% haste with us what you will. That's not a lot. It's meh. And moving on to the 30 talents, um, with our aforementioned spell... Barb Shot. This one called Scent of Blood gives you 8% additional focus over its duration, putting it up to 28 focus total over 8 seconds. So that puts it up to about 3 per second. These are very rough numbers. I'm not a mathematician. Don't shoot me. I can't do everything perfectly. Um, we had this spell before, one with the pack, but it was called, actually I think the same thing, but it was moved and changed. So Wild Call is a 20% increased chance to reset the cooldown of Barb Shot. So I'll show you guys what Wild Call is. Your Auto Shot Critical Strikes have a 20% chance to reset the cooldown of Barb Shot. So for context, I have 30% crit. So statistically, roughly, one in three and a half times I'll get a crit. And then with this, one in five of those crits, I will get to reset my Barb Shot. With the talent, it'll be about one in three. 40% doesn't really go into 2 or to 3. 3 goes over. But, you know, these are statistical numbers. And with that, you get more focus and you get more barb shots and your pets hit faster. Yeah, yeah. Then we move on to Chimera Shot. This was originally a spell for Marksman Hunters, which I really missed because it was utterly broken and unquestionably overtuned. So basically, as a 13-second cooldown, you shoot two arrows. One does nature damage, one does frost damage. Um, each arrow will generate 10 focus, provided there's a target for said arrow or bullet to hit. Pretty standard, it's pretty good for rating. From what I understand, PvP, it's okay. Um, we had this spell before, but I think it got buffed. This is called Trailblazer. Your movement speed is increased by 30% anytime you have not attacked for 3 seconds. Kind of okay, you know, just fill in the blanks. You have Aspect of the Cheetah, just go ahead and use that. Then we have a spell called Natural Many. This is actually a new talent. We've never had this before. Every 30 focus you spend reduces the remaining cooldown of Exhilaration. If you haven't played in a while, Exhilaration is no longer a talent. We all have it as hunters. And it heals you for 30% of your health and your pet to full. Kind of good, but only good if you're raiding. PvP, complete no-no. You will not spend the amount of focus warranted enough to get this thing off cooldown at 2 minutes. You have to spend an egregious amount of focus. Then we've had Camouflage for the last couple of expansions. 
this has been a talent for a while but the nice thing is it also heals you so each second you're in it you'll get two percent of your max health so i'll quickly go into it and show you the numbers up here so i have 30.4k health and i get 600 hp pretty much every second and your pet also heals so back in the days of vanilla you could fang death and eat maybe you could fang death in an arena and go invisible if you don't have any markings on you think about it now let's move on to our 60s talents these are kind of strange but they're pretty good over the most part so first off we have venomous bite cobra shot now reduces the cooldown of be sure f by one second so keep in mind cobra shot uses 35 focus so on paper you can use three of them per focus unless you have a barb shot or two up then you can only use three um, that's pretty good because the cooldown on Bisharath is 90 seconds flat. And any second you can get on that Bisharath, Bisharath is your complete bread and butter. Because your pets, like I said earlier, are pretty much about half your damage. Especially if you're on an animal companion. You do a ton of damage with those pets. Uh, moving along to Thrill of the Hunt. This used to be a talent, which was awesome. Um, but that was back in the old days. Now it does Barb Shot increase your critical strike chance by 3% for 8 seconds, stacking up to 3 times. So that goes up to a maximum 9%. In this case, we give me 39% crit. Is that that big of a statistical change? I noticed if you run Thrill of the Hunt and One Month of Pack together, you will get about, in a 5 minute span, a maybe 8 or 10 more Barb Shots. I mean, that can be a big difference changer, a big game changer even. Uh, in a raid in pvp this is eh for pvp i'd only use venomous bite or if you're fighting against murder of crows which is exactly the same as it has been solid spell does a third of their health not sure about reductions but pretty good anyways moving on to 75 this is the defensive tier we have born to be wild not to be confused with the wonderful song it reduces the cooldowns of Aspect of the Cheetah and Aspect of the Turtle. Again, if you haven't played in a while, Aspect of the Cheetah is now a cooldown. Aspect of the Turtle is basically deterrence. So for context, the cooldown of Aspect of the Turtle is 3 minutes. So that would reduce it by, let's see, 20% of 3. That would be... I'll do the math later and insert it because I don't want to hold up the video. Then we have Post Haste. We've had this for a long time and... People usually would use it, but it would usually get beat out by the one that would make your disengage have a lower cooldown. But now that lo a disengage has a standard cooldown of 20 seconds, this is actually semi-viable. Moving on to a spell we've already had, uh, Binding Shot. Basically, you shoot a binder shot down, and if they get in it and break it, they get stunned. What's nice to do with this is you can Binding Shot and scatter, or you know, high explosive trap them, which is a... Let me find the PvP talent. It basically knocks them away. Very good. Moving on to the 90 tier, we have a couple change spells here. Uh, when you cast Barb Shot, your pet will stomp the ground, dealing 742 physical damage to all nearby enemies. That's not a set number. That's just my gear. It's very good. Uh, for context, my extra pet, in this case Chromagus, will not cast that. Only my primary pet, Dire Beast, won't do it either. It's very good because you... Are casting a lot of barb shots so if you have throw the hunt and one with a pack you are going to be tearing up meters but you pretty much have to hard commit to it it's okay in pvp i'd prefer stampede so moving right along we have barrage barrage only received a minor change and they also upped its focus cost if i believe i haven't used barrage in a very long time since it would pull things from across games into my map so basically, it just shoots a rapid spray of shots for 2.6 seconds, dealing an average of 1,900 damage, and it's usable while moving. So how this spell got changed, you might ask. Basically, you no longer have to target something. I'll actually demonstrate this, because it's, otherwise it's very hard. So it's literally just a spray of bullets, like so. And anything in front of you will get hit. You no longer have to target something. It's not a targeted spell. It's kind of a nice change. Then moving straight along, we have a spell that we're all very familiar with called Stampede. Now, in Mop, this was a very powerful spell. It would summon all your pets, and they would all be able to use class ab or family abilities, and in that case, heal you. I'll show what it is like now. It hasn't been changed in a while, but now it's... If you played Warcraft 3, it's very reminiscent of Rexar's spell, Stampede, ironically called. 
Now this does a lot of damage. I've tested it in PvP. If you can get someone a binding shot or freeze them and then hit them with a stampede, they're going to be down for the count pretty darn quick. <clears throat> Moving along to our final tier, the 100 tier. We've actually seen some really good changes and, you know, we've kept with some status quo stuff. So, first off, we have Aspect of the Beast. This increases your pet's damage across the board by 30%. No ifs, ands, or buts. Literally just a 30% damage amp. What more could you want? Then it also increases the effectiveness of your pet's predator's thirst, endurance training, and pathfinding passives by 50%. Now in this case, I have the legendary where my pet is every kind of pet at once. So that means he can use all of them. And this legendary, if you're still hunting for it, is called the Apex Predator's Claw. I'll go ahead and show those in the pet. So, Pathfinding increases your movement speed and his. Endurance Training gives you and your pet more max health. That's from Tenacity. And then finally, uh, Predator's Thirst gives you and your pet a leech. As you can see here at the top, I have all three buffs. But I think I get them at a diminishing rate since I have all three. Alright, then we have Killer Cobra. This last expansion was amazing. I think later on it got taken down by the aspect where... If you would kill command, your pet would bleed them, which was pretty good in PvE. So basically, when Beast Wrath is active, Cobra Shot resets the cooldown on kill command. Pretty standard, really good in PvP, PvE. I believe Aspect of the Beast is better, but this is a toss-up. Then lastly, we have Spitting Cobra. This used to be a, a talent for survival hunters only, actually. And I believe it did just about the same thing. So this thing is about on a 1.5 minute cooldown. And I'll demonstrate it here for you all. I'm going to do it on a lower test dummy. So don't, please disregard the damage. So basically what it does, it'll spit every couple seconds. Apparently I have to hit it first and then it will. So now it gets the hit to spit. Those damage numbers aren't accurate. This is an 85 target. So basically it spits for nature damage. And while it's active, you get two focus every second. So this thing does really bad damage. Like this thing does, I believe, less than an auto shot or it's basically another auto shot. It may seem tempting, tempting because of the focus, but I can assure you Aspect of the Beast or Killer Cobra will outshine this thing every single time. So not the video is over, kind of. This is the tail end of it after I've shown all you wonderful huntresses and hunters. Uh... The new changes that came with a patch and you know kind of put some context to them and everything i was going to show you my recommended build first off a recommended build for pve and then pvp um we don't know what the next expansion holds but this is pretty much all just my speculation so personally for pvp i would go animal companion and then chimera shot or one with a pack completely up to you this is kind of a very optional tier because usually in arena, you're going to be hitting one person with Chimera Shot. Is it still good regardless? Of course. Uh, next one, I would personally use Camouflage because then you can get the opener on someone or get a Stealth off, which is very nice, and it's a heal. Uh, down to the 60 talents, I would definitely go for Murder of Crows. This thing does way too much damage not to use it, and the best part, if it kills someone, you get it right back. Going to the 75 talent, this is also another optional one. If you're doing threes, probably Born to be Wild or Post Haste so you can get out of sticky situations. But usually in twos, you want to run Binding Shot because Hunters, we have a good amount of control, but adding a little bit more never hurt anybody because we have Tar Trap, we have Freezing Trap, and we have a plethora of slows, but just raw stun CC lockdown has never really hurt anybody. And going down to the, uh, the 90 tier, Barrage is pretty good, but the thing is if you're not facing them, you know, you're not doing any damage. Stomp is pretty good, it's just better for PvE. I'd personally recommend Stampede. It's a little bit hard to use, like I mentioned, but if you can get someone in a binding shot, aforementionedly, and then hit them with a Stampede, this thing will take probably a fourth of their life off, and you don't even have to manage it. And it's also CC in a way. If they walk into it, they're taking damage. They can't come and hit you. If you get opened up on a rogue, stampede. What's he going to do? Um, and then for the last talent for PvP, I'd say Killer Cobra or Aspect of the Beast, completely up to you. If you want to more rely on your pet, which I do since I have the legendary, I can send him in. 
And if they kill him, I can just res him, and I don't have to put in almost any chips into the pot, so to say. Which is really nice. Killer Cope is also nice, but for burst, because when you don't have Bestial Wrath up, so you'd have to run Venomous Bite, you'd be doing about no damage with your pet. You'd get 30% less. I would never use Spitting Cobra. Not even for twos. It doesn't burst hard enough. This thing needed about 400 more damage to even be looked at the right way. And then going on to PvE. Uh, for PvE, it's a little bit more expansive and less kind of narrow and polarizing, unfortunately. So for PvE, it's kind of a toss-up. I would go for Killer Instinct with the knowledge that you do more damage during the execute phase and i go with animal companion knowing you get more damage overall if the fight is very pet friendly if not then dire beast would be better um, moving along this is kind of where it gets into the build territory um you could argue one for the pack and throw the hunt are great <clears throat> but you could also argue scent of blood so this is completely optional to you Personally, when I get into raiding, I'm going to do the one with the pack, throw the hunt build, and maybe even murder of crows. That's It's very hard, like I said. Chimera shot is pretty good as well. For 45, it's completely up to you. I'd completely say natural mending, though, because this takes too long to kick in. Like, in three seconds, you're going to become... You're going to be attacking. If you're not attacking, you're doing no DPS. Going down to the 60 tier for PvE, this is hard to pass up if it's a very bursty fight i do venomous bite and killer cobra but one with the pack and throw the hunt those are pretty hard to pass up um so this is really a toss-up basically venomous bite or throw of the hunt murder of crows is only pve or pvp sorry unless you're clearing ads with it that have very low health and you know you have to focus on the boss or something then to 75 Binding Shot can really help, but since you're with 10 other people, you can kind of offload the CC onto a mage. You know, he can just Frost Nova, and you can be free to take uh, Born to be Wild, because that's really helpful. You get 20% more uptime on Aspect of the Cheetah and Turtle. That's mobility, that's defensive. Post Haste is also good, say if it's a fight that's very movement intensive. You know, if you disengage, you get a 50% movement speed buff. That's helpful. So it's a toss-up between these two, and it's really up to you. Uh, this is kind of the meat and potatoes of the whole build is where it starts to come together. I would not use Stampede unless it's very ad heavy. Even still, I'd use Barrage over that. If it's more single target, Stomp is pretty good, but these are all AoE. So I'd, I'd say Stomp or Barrage, depending on what you do. You know, it's, it's kind of play style. It goes by boss to boss, you know. If we were doing, for example, in Siege of Ogremar Immersius, I'd 100% say Barrage because, you know, your pet can't get there. You can just blast all those oozes down. Never use Stampede. There's very little situation for it. Um, and then, like I said, for PvE, Aspect of the Beast is probably good across the board. Killer Cobra's good as well, but only if you're running Venomous Bite. Without it, you're pretty much just shooting an unloaded gun. Never use Spitting Cobra. This is... Kind of an abomination, in my opinion. They should have just kept it with survival and given us something else. Well, that's pretty much all for my guide today. And if anybody has any questions about it or, you know, you'd like to see another guide or... I was planning on doing a more in-depth guide about, you know, which gives what percent of DPSs give 12% DPS or whatever. Anyways, thanks for all the views and the subs. Uh, comment down below if you want to see more.